Wow, look at this, guys. Hey, that's the beach. Yes, that is a beach. We are stopped in Dominican Republic, and today we're going to go on a bubble tour. This is a bubble tour by Carnival Cruise Line. What's a bubble tour? A bubble tour is the only way to go on shore if you are not vaccinated. So this is mainly for kids or unvaccinated adults, but a lot of kids. So come along today if you want to see what Carnival Cruise Line's bubble tour in Dominican Republic looks like. All right. Let's do it. Let's get started. Punchliner lounge where we all gathered. Everyone has to put their mask on and stay with your bubble. We're all in this together. We are all in a bubble. So we gotta stay together, guys. And they said you gotta wear your mask from this point until you get to your destination, pretty much. And we're off. Okay. Morning, morning. Thank you. Oh, look at it out there. It looks nice. You say hi? And look at the ship. Just as beautiful as ever. Now, guys, if you're looking out, and this is a fact that everyone, not everyone knows, some people do know. If this looks very Jurassic Park-ish, they actually filmed Jurassic Park here. So this looks like the hills. If you've watched the movie, then you'll know. So for the people that are not doing a bubble tour like us, and you are going to Amber Cove, Please note that there is a lot of walking when you get off this ship. A lot. They do have men. They have a lot of men with the uh, little bicycles tuk, and tuk. the basset, tuk tuks, whatever you want to call it. But and you they can't take those when you're on the bubble tour. Right. Because you have to stay in your bubble. bubble. But if you're not in a bubble tour. See how long? I'm just trying to yeah, just catch be, the whole view. Just be courteous. Just be courteous and tip your. Uh, if you're a person that's riding. Right, they work. These over here are cabanas that you could rent. Um, they look very nice now that I see it in person. I've been seeing it on the website. Yeah, they actually look better in person. Yeah. I thought they looked they looked a little run, run down when I seen them. Right, they need to take better pictures. Yeah. All right. And you've got the duty free over there. And look at that. A welcome Mardi Gras sign. Cool. This is the first time the Mardi Gras is pulling into this port. So guys, you're gonna stay with your whole tour and they will have signs telling you where to go, where not to go. Not on a bubble tour. And you go to the left, you would have a lot of shopping, some food. If you go to the right, you would have a completely free pool, huge pool, very nice. You can definitely enjoy this. This is one of the cruise ports you can stay for free. But um, you can't do that if you're on a bubble tour because you're not vaccinated right now. So stay in the bubble, guys. Stay in the bubble. All right. It looks like we are getting on a nicely air-conditioned bus. Hopefully yes. the air condition works. A nice air-conditioned coach bus that will take you to the resort. Come on. Right. So just follow the carnival signs. I guess everybody speaks Spanish. No? I can teach you a few words. Okay, good. We don't no need problem, it. Back no. here with a welcome <laughs> to DR Amber Cove. My name is Adrian, Dominican Republic. We have a really nice weather today. And I'm pretty sure you're going to love this activity. I'm here just to give you uh, some important information. 
So we have a section on the beach just for you, for the group B. The okay. group B have an open bar, have a section, a private beach for you, and they have a beach chair for everybody. So you don't have to run to go to the bar. You don't have to go far away to get the bar because the bar is located on the beach just for you, okay? Also, we have a, a, a section in the restaurant for the group B. And we have a time for the lunch, which is 11 until 12.30. We have that time for you because the only one will be in that restaurant at that time will be you. After the lunch, 12.30, they open a snack for you at one o'clock by the beach. So guys, this is actually like a resort that you can fly and come stay at. Um, if you wanna come to DR and stay just at this resort, that is, it's a place that people come to, so. And like he said, the pool, as beautiful as it looks, is actually off limits with the bubble tour because hotel guests are staying in the pool, so. They don't want to run the risk of you swimming with the hotel guest because then that breaks your bubble and that it puts you at exposure. So, in the in the water, not in the pool. Yeah, it's not just a, a, a tour, tour. Okay. <laughs> so, but still very nice looking. Unfortunately, like we said, can't use it, so that's kind of whack. <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna put <laughs> over there. Over there, we have the bathroom, and somebody from the staff will be here just to give you direction. And down there is gonna be the restaurant. As well, somebody from my staff will be here to give you some direction, okay? Please. Open bar over there, just this side. The other side for the other group, this side. Okay, and you can see the rope, the rope just okay. split the section B and A. So this is the, the whole section for you, available to enjoy the beach. And over there, you're gonna find the snack available for you after one o'clock, after lunch. Remember, lunch, 11 until 12.30. So what are So when you walk in, we highly recommend that you try to be, as soon as they kind of let you go to get your chairs, grab your chairs early so you can get something in the front, like this. And if the chairs are not together, listen, grab those chairs and put them together, because that's what we did. There was two chairs here, and we turned it into four and we grabbed the, the table. The later you get here and try to claim a chair, you're worse off. So we've got this spot right here in the front where we can actually sit back, have a drink, watch the kids play, and not have to, you know, worry that we're too far back to, to be able to see them. So, yes. And it's time to get some sunscreen. Turn around. Is it cold? Aren't you happy it's cold? No! What do you mean no? Come here. Come, you need something in your face. Do not go off yet. Vacation goals. Here she go. How are you so quick to lay out? Look at her. So you see little, they've got it sectioned off here, guys. This whole way back and on that side. So this is our section, then this is what you're paying for in the bubble tour. Um, 
yeah, this is what the bubble tour looks like. It's literally a sectioned off piece of the beach at a resort. It's a it's a nice looking beach. It's definitely a nice looking beach. It, it, it is nice. Actually, this water over here looks better than when we went to Punta Cana. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, so we went to Punta Cana years ago. What happened is we went there when it was like a whole bunch of seaweed and yeah, stuff. People say that every time they go. Really? And somebody, somebody recently, if they went to Punta Cana, was there a whole bunch of seaweed? More than likely they're going to say yes. If you've been to Punta Cana, did you experience heavy seaweed? Because when we went, we sure did. Okay. There's really no seaweed here. This looks good. This looks real nice. So yeah guys, we are gonna have a good day. Like I said, you literally pay for getting here with a section of the beach privately where you know you you and your children are not exposed or you as the unvaccinated guests, whoever it may be, your children or you, um, you don't have to worry about being exposed to COVID or anything, because you're in a bubble. All right guys, so we are on the beach there. You come up this way, they will have people in the red shirts to direct you which way to go. And the food is right down this way. So we'll see what they got. Okay, here's what we got guys. French fries, pizza, some cheese dogs, hamburger, some spaghetti and meat sauce. There's some zucchini, carrots, broccoli, rice and beans. Alright guys, so I went to the indoor um, lunch. Did you show it to them? I did. Oh, okay. I showed it to them. Just like I'm showing them you. Get back so, to the information, please. Back to the information. I went indoors to see what was available. Um, the food selections are not really much different than what's out here. I'm gonna take you to the barbecue section so we can see what's there. But there's nothing like too much gourmet food for the most part. Um, it's very basic. It's good that you get a lunch, but what's cool about there is you go inside, you can sit down and eat like a sit down restaurant and you can have, um, you know, they'll serve you and like bring like for your drinks and stuff. It's still buffet style for you to actually get your food. Just the selections, it's nothing they're really amazing. I didn't stick around, they just put the beef on the grill so I did not have that. It did look like it would be tasty. Um, 
I just got some basic stuff for the girls and I'm gonna go see what's up at this um, barbecue station over here. Um, so that's the indoor area, indoor dining area. Any questions you got? No questions. Um, one comment that I would like to make to families, make sure you come here with swim shoes. Yes. If you don't have swim shoes, your feet are gonna be cut up. All in that ocean is rocks, 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 rocks. I have them for places like this, and of course I don't have it today. But this is a water shoe type of place because there's a lot of rocks in there. If you clear the rocks, you'll be okay. But you definitely have to walk through some rocks. So water shoes are recommended for sure. Alrighty, so if you are booking this bubble tour, you will see that on the opposite end of the area that we are enclosed in, that there is like a beach barbecue. So they have lots of selections of food. Hello, how are you? Thank you very much. They have burgers and shish kebabs. They have burgers, they have rice onions to make to make your burger a burger everything to make your burger a burger <laughs> while rain is playing vacation goals how's the burger and we are masked up and ready to leave it is a little bit after 2.30. I will say um, a note to people looking to book this. Don't bring the floaties because you can't use them. Unless you want to float in the ocean. But trust me, you don't want your kid in the ocean with no floaty. Because we're in Dominican Republic right now. But your kids will be in um, Cuba. So don't do it. Okay, so we are back in port. And... On the bubble tour, they literally do not want you to do anything. Like they don't want you to try to leave the group and walk to the left, walk to the right, you stay in the bubble. You cannot leave a bubble. You stay in the bubble. You are in the bubble? That's the whole point of a bubble. Until you reach the cruise ship. So the bubble continues, guys. But yeah. There's somebody right behind you. Yeah many uh, carnival workers behind you on the side of you so don't think you slick either because if you think you slick you're gonna have to quarantine inside the ship <laughs> yeah right. another thing to note guys is the bubble is so real they won't even let you go to the duty free isn't that crazy no that's the whole point of the bubble tour. damn she's into this bubble don't worry, the bubble is about to what you were booking before you booked The bubble is about to pop because we're about to get back on the ship. Alright? The bubble is almost over. Yeah, it's serious out here. And again, look at our beautiful ship. This carnival Mardi Gras, so nice. Actually, I have new feet now. Huh? Actually, I have new feet. New feet? Hmm. Wow, those are new feet. Yes. I like the new... I think there's something under there. Like what? Maybe we should get to the room and find out. What do you got? You want under there or something? I don't know. You want to go see later? Not really. You might got some warts. Let's go. Okay. Bye. All right. So we are back in our room where it is nice and cool. It was a good day, but it was hot. <laughs> so... Which we expect, and we enjoyed. I mean, it's August. But it was hot, yeah. <laughs> so, Dominican Republic was a, it was a hot day out there. Um, so now, to wrap up our thoughts and additional information we can give. So, we got back. Um, they do want you to wear a mask 
as you are getting back into the cruise port, you have to wear your mask basically until Always you get clear back on security. the ship. Yeah, all right. the way to you get all the way back on the ship and clear security. Which they made clear before you got here, and some people were a little bit upset about it. And yeah, some people are like complaining, like they pay so much money, and oh, right. I. But you don't pay money to not wear a mask. You know like, what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you knew what you signed up right. for. It's a bubble tour, and I don't think anybody should be complaining. No, I honestly don't no. think anybody should be complaining because no one forced you to purchase this bubble tour. <laughs> yeah, you could yeah. just stay on the ship. Honestly, if you feel like you don't want to wear your mask, you don't want to stay in a bubble, you don't want to stay in the section that they want you in. My 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 um personal feeling. My belief. suggestion to you is you just stay on the ship, right. or you just don't take a cruise at all. Honestly, yeah. Because if you some can't, people if you have can't a listen, real. Then Right. Well, you gonna wind up? They're gonna wind up having you quarantine in your room. Now that is definitely a thing with cruising right now in general. If you feel like these cruise line rules are too much, stay home. Right. Don't go. And stop giving people that's doing their job. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure the workers here want to take their mask off too. But right. this is their job. You know what I'm right. saying? Stop fighting like people need to stop trying to fight them and badger these people right. and they're just working these are workers they're working mm -hmm. it doing their job so that they can have money to you know to because you know where you families. don't have to wear a mask you know where your house right <laughs> you don't have to wear a mask in your house right so you stay there it's so it's too much so that's that part right okay so that was just a little rant um based on some of the recent complaints but anyway so what do we think about it in general um, I personally, I thought it was okay. I thought it was okay. Yeah. Um, I don't think the food was disappointing. The food was disappointing, which and I wasn't expect. I didn't have much expectation. Yeah. I was happy that it was a little open bar. It was, you know, a little drink. The open bar beer. was great. It was like Coors Light beer and nothing else. Like, but it was cool. It mm -hmm. was cool for what you got. Yes, it was a, it was pricey. But in order for us to get off the ship and let the girls have that experience of, you know, going to the beach because mm -hmm. they love the beach, it was great for us for that. This is what it's like cruising right now. Right. So for now. Now, if you come to Amber Cove, I'm sorry to cut you off, but if ahead. you come, let's say say you're watching this and COVID is over and you're thinking about going to Playa Bachata as just a tour and excursion you see that carnival is orphanous and, and it's not a bubble tour and you just want to do that I would say don't do it I agree I would I say agree. I would say find something else I wouldn't go there it's not well one of the all-inclusive beach resorts that I would recommend for now right unless I went there and had a better experience and just to just to give it a little comparison for the people who have traveled and cruised before if you want to compare it to like a Mr. Sancho's in Cosmel or a Playa Mia, one of those all-inclusive beach resorts. Nothing. Not even close. Not even remotely close. Yeah. That's like a one yeah. compared to a ten. However, <laughs> for COVID, I have to say they, they kept it very safe. You know, you don't, if as long as you, you're with your group and they do a good job of ma making you maintain that group. Um, it's, it's definitely safe, and if you are a person that is really trying to stick by all the guidelines as much as you can, it's they're doing a good job at that. Yeah. So they're keeping you safe. Mm -hmm. They're not letting you mix and mingle with the local people right. at the resort, um, at the local people, period, or anyone, anyone. Not Like I said, not even duty-free, guys. Mm -hmm. So... Um, um, as long as the people are, like, they have... The beach is long. I think the area that we walked in mm -hmm. was... The area that they put us in, it was a nice size space. I didn't feel like, oh, we were It wasn't on top crammed. Of, it wasn't, it wasn't crammed. crammed at all. You could walk down the beach if you wanted. There was a lot of people just walking. And, you know, a lot of people like to just walk the beach. Yeah. And there was a lot of people doing that. So. I would not take a seven-day cruise and not let my kids get off the boat. So they have ship. to get off the ship at some point. <laughs> and today was the good because it was in the middle of our week so i'm glad they were able to get off the ship and um yes it cost a little bit more than i would have normally paid to get them off but it is what it is that is the situation we're in now if you're a cruise lover like us it's worth it definitely it was worth it to me so that's our review it's yeah. worth it because we wanted to get off the ship we wanted our girls to go to the beach girls did you have fun at the beach Okay, come here. Let's close out this vlog. Tell me something that you liked about the beach. Come here. Come on, say goodbye to everybody. So, Royce, what did you like about the beach uh, today? I like the... I like the... I like the... I like the... I like those things you spinning around. The things you spin around? 
Yeah, I like those things. Oh, she likes the wind um, spinners that collect energy. Okay, okay. Oh, that was at the beach on the opposite side. <laughs> she likes the views. I get it. You know what? It was very scenic, that beach. I like beaches that when you look on the side, you see like hills and stuff. Okay, Royce, I see where you're going with that. I agree with that. I agree with that. Rain, what's your favorite part of today? My favorite part of today was um, going inside the stand and meeting new friends. In the sand and making oh, a friend. She yes, was yes. talking to a lot of kids. And everyone in the, in the sand, everyone in the bubble is all tested so that's what's cool guys that everyone that's in the bubble is they got tested 72 hours before they got on the ship and they got tested they got tested right before they got on the ship so ooh, wow royce these do look good on me <laughs> what do you guys think comment down below like piggy and dyes new glasses so yeah so oh, you oh, you oh, feel oh. safe with your kids interacting with those other kids because to, to be honest it's safer than them going to school because all those kids here are just recently tested. tested so right. I like that. And they didn't get off the ship until with us today. Right, right. The bubble. Right. So it makes sense. The, the, the bubble is where it's at for safety, guys. It is. So that is it for this um, vlog. I hope we provided you for, with some information. If you are new here and you were just looking for that information, I hope we gave you some value How much there. did we pay? I have no idea. A ticket. I don't know. I I'm going to leave that, the amount. Yeah. yeah right here that is how much we paid per person this is the amount for adults and this is the amount for kids so we paid a total of <laughs> yes if i did all those hand gestures and nothing nothing popped up on the screen that means i really don't know how much we paid <laughs> but um i think it's worth it I do have an average in my head of what we paid ish. So, um, but I want to give you guys exact prices. It may change. This was Something our, yeah, this was our excursion. So that's it. So until the next vlog, by the way, wait, 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 go back and make sure you hit the thumbs up guys. Please hit the thumbs up. It yes. helps so I got a much. Heat rash. Yeah. So please make sure you guys give this a huge thumbs up. Please share this, share this, share this We We've been giving y'all some gems, some good information, especially for your upcoming cruise. And also if you like this, please don't forget to leave us a comment. We'd like to interact with you guys. Yes. And all right guys, until the next vlog, continue to live what rich. rich and jazzy live. Bye. Bye guys. Hey, wait, where's Royce? They're waiting for you. you Everyone's say waiting. Bye. No. Bye bye guys. See you in the bye. next video. Bye. In the next video, Rachel will be ending the vlog. Bye.